Not quite. Oh, I am sorry. I'm afraid you'll never change. There. The casting process for the 1948 movie, The Snake Pit, was a thorough and considered one. The film's director, Anatole Lidvak, was determined to find actors who could accurately portray the complexities of mental illness. For the lead role of Virginia Cunningham, Litvak chose Olivia de Havilland. De Havilland was drawn to the role due to its depth and challenging nature. She underwent extensive research to understand the mindset of a person with mental health issues. Her commitment and dedication to the role were instrumental in her casting. To play the role of Dr. Mark Kick, the psychiatrist who treats Virginia, Litvak cast Leo Jen. Jen was known for his versatility as an actor and his ability to portray both strength and sensitivity made him an ideal choice for the role. The supporting cast was also carefully selected. Celeste Holm, who plays a fellow patient at the mental institution, was chosen for her ability to bring warmth and humanity to her characters. Mark Stevens, who plays Robert, Virginia's husband, was cast for his ability to convey the character's conflicting emotions. The casting of The Snake Pit was not just about finding actors who could play the parts, but about finding individuals who could bring depth, understanding, and authenticity to the complex issues explored in the film. The chemistry between the actors was also crucial, and extensive rehearsals were held to ensure that the cast could work together seamlessly. The result was a powerful and thought-provoking film that has left a lasting impact on audiences. Anatole Lidvak, the director of The Snake Pit, aimed to shed light on the harsh realities of mental illness in mental institutions. He was inspired by Mary Jane Ward's novel of the same name, which was based on her own experiences in a mental hospital. Lidvak's approach was characterized by a keen attention to detail and a desire for authenticity. He wanted to create a realistic portrayal of mental illness, so he conducted extensive research, visiting mental hospitals and observing patients and staff. This research influenced the film's visual style with its stark, unromanticized depiction of institutional life. In collaboration with the cast and crew, Litvak fostered a supportive and creative environment. He worked closely with screenwriter Frank Pardos to adapt the novel for the screen, and he encouraged actors to immerse themselves in their roles. Olivia de Havilland, who played the lead role of Virginia Cunningham, spent time in a mental hospital to prepare for her part. Litvak's directorial vision was also shaped by his background in European cinema. He had directed films in France, Germany, and the Soviet Union before coming to Hollywood, and his experiences abroad influenced his approach to storytelling. The Snake Pit reflects his interest in using film to explore complex psychological themes and his commitment to creating realistic, believable worlds on screen. Overall, Litvak's direction of The Snake Pit was marked by a deep commitment to authenticity a focus on psychological realism, and a collaborative approach to working with his cast and crew. The film's enduring impact is a testament to his vision and his ability to bring powerful stories to life on screen. Well, they don't go over. Is this 12? Well, what did you think it was? One? How long have I been? The Snake Pit is a 1948 movie that explores the challenging reality of mental illness. This movie, based on a novel by Mary Jane Ward, offers a raw and emotional look into the life of a woman named Virginia Cunningham, played by Olivia de Havilland, who finds herself in a mental institution. As we delve into the story, you'll discover fascinating facts, funny anecdotes, and shocking revelations, so be sure to keep watching. One intriguing fact about this movie is that it was one of the first Hollywood films to tackle the subject of mental health with such honesty and depth. The Snake Pit helped break the stigma surrounding mental illness and paved the way for more realistic portrayals in future films. Among the many memorable roles in this movie, my personal favorite is Olivia de Havilland's portrayal of Virginia Cunningham. Her powerful and moving performance sheds light on the struggles faced by those battling mental illness and the challenges of navigating a complex and often misunderstood system. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the snake pit? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's engage in a meaningful conversation about this groundbreaking film. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Please try to answer them the best you can. You want the 1948 film, The Snake Pit, took audiences on a dramatic journey into a mental institution, offering an unflinching look at the treatment of mental illness. 
The set design was a crucial aspect of the production, with detailed recreation of a mental hospital from the stark, cold interiors of the ward to the doctor's office. The film utilized real locations, including the Camarillo State Mental Hospital in California, to lend authenticity to the story. The logistical challenges of filming in a mental institution were numerous. The production team had to navigate strict regulations, limited access, and the need to maintain the privacy and safety of the patients. To overcome these challenges, the crew worked closely with hospital staff, establishing a secure and controlled environment for filming. Innovative techniques were employed during the production of The Snake Pit. To capture the disorienting experience of the protagonist, the filmmakers used a subjective camera technique where the camera became the character's eyes, creating a sense of immersion and confusion. This technique was groundbreaking for its time and added a level of depth and realism to the film. Despite the challenges, the production of The Snake Pit was a testament to the dedication and creativity of the filmmakers. The result was a powerful and enduring film that left a lasting impact on audiences and the film industry. The 1948 film, The Snake Pit, is a classic that has stood the test of time. Starring Olivia de Havilland as Virginia Stewart, the movie tells the story of a woman who struggles with mental health issues caused by childhood experiences. Despite the challenging role, de Havilland delivers a powerful and compelling performance, capturing the audience's attention with her portrayal of a confused and mixed up woman. Although de Havilland's acting was exceptional, she did not win the Academy Award for this picture. Instead, she won for her role in The Heiress, which was released in the same year. Nonetheless, her performance in The Snake Pit was highly regarded, and she received critical acclaim for her work. Leo Jen, who played Dr. Mark Kick, and Mark Stevens, who played Robert Cunningham, gave excellent supporting roles in the film. Together, they helped create a realistic and engaging portrayal of the mental health system in the 1940s. The Snake Pit is a heavy film that explores the harsh realities of mental health treatment during that time. The audience is taken on a journey through the mental hospital, witnessing the mistreatment and neglect of the patients. De Havilland's portrayal of Virginia's struggles is heart-wrenching, and the viewer can't help but feel sympathy for her character. While the film is a classic, it's important to note that mental health treatment has come a long way since the 1940s. The movie serves as a reminder of how far we have come in understanding and treating mental health issues. Overall, The Snake Pit is a must-watch for anyone interested in classic films or mental health. De Havilland's performance is outstanding, and the film provides a unique perspective on mental health treatment during that time. While the subject matter is heavy, the film is well-made and thought-provoking, leaving a lasting impression on the viewer. May 12th. Where do you see that? Well, here you can see for yourself. It's an old newspaper. Can't you see? It's torn. Virginia. The Snake Pit, a 1948 film, features a score and soundtrack that significantly contribute to its narrative and emotional tone. The music was composed by Alfred Newman, a renowned composer in Hollywood's Golden Age. Newman's approach was to create music that would reflect the inner turmoil of the main character, Virginia Cunningham, played by Olivia de Havilland. Newman's score is characterized by its dissonance and tension, which mirrors Virginia's psychological state. The music is often sparse, with single notes or chords that hang in the air, creating a sense of unease and uncertainty. This is particularly effective in scenes where Virginia's mental health is deteriorating or she is facing a crisis. The soundtrack also includes several period-appropriate songs, which are used to contrast with the film's darker themes. For instance, the upbeat song Ain't We Got Fun is played during a scene where Virginia is initially admitted to the mental institution, highlighting the stark contrast between her outer circumstances and her inner turmoil. In creating the score, Newman worked closely with the film's director, Anatole Litvak. Litvak wanted the music to be an integral part of the film, not just a background element. As a result, Newman's score is often foregrounded, with the music driving the emotional tone of the scenes. Newman's work on The Snake Pit was highly praised. The score was nominated for an Academy Award, and Newman won the award for best scoring of a dramatic or comedy picture. His score for The Snake Pit is considered one of his most innovative and influential works. In creating the music for The Snake Pit, Newman and Lidvak were able to enhance the film's narrative and emotional tone, 
creating a deeply affecting and memorable film. The music's ability to reflect Virginia's inner turmoil in contrast with the film's darker themes contributes to the film's enduring impact. No, Bleecker. No, that was Helene Carter. Or was it Jennifer? Hudson made... Olivia de Havilland's costumes in The Snake Pit were designed by Bonnie Cashin, who drew inspiration from patient outfits observed in West Coast institutions. One notable detail in the film is the portrait of Sigmund Freud in Dr. Kick's office, reflecting the prominent influence of his theories during that time. De Havilland gave birth to her second child, Cecil Galante, in 1956, fathered by her second husband, Pierre Galante. The couple divorced in 1979, and Galante passed away in 1998. I won't let them scare me. One of the most iconic scenes in The Snake Pit is when Virginia Cunningham, played by Olivia de Havilland, is trapped in a pitch black room, symbolizing her mental breakdown. The director, Anatole Litvak, used this scene to convey the overwhelming fear and isolation that mental illness can cause. The darkness is only broken by a single light bulb, which flickers on and off, adding to the sense of unease. De Havilland's performance is chilling as she screams and cries in terror, capturing the audience's attention and sympathy. Another memorable scene is when Virginia is in a therapy session and recounts a childhood memory of her father's death. The camera focuses on Virginia as she lies on a couch, with the therapist sitting out of frame. This technique makes the audience feel as if they are eavesdropping on a private conversation, drawing them further into Virginia's story. De Havilland's performance is subtle yet powerful, as she recalls the traumatic event with a mix of sadness and anger. The film's cinematography is also noteworthy. The use of high and low angles, as well as tight close-ups, helps to convey Virginia's emotional state. For instance, when she is first admitted to the mental institution, the camera looks down on her from a high angle, making her appear small and vulnerable. As she begins to recover, the camera shifts to lower angles, making her appear stronger and more confident. The impact of these scenes is profound. They not only provide a glimpse into the experience of mental illness, but also challenge the stigma surrounding it. The filmmakers and actors involved in the snake pit were aware of the film's potential impact. De Havilland, who won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role, said in an interview, I felt a great responsibility to portray Virginia with accuracy and compassion. Litvak, too, was committed to making a film that would raise awareness about mental health. In an interview, he said, I wanted to show that mental illness is not a moral failing, but a medical condition that requires treatment. Overall, the iconic scenes in The Snake Pit are powerful examples of filmmaking that can both entertain and educate. Through strong performances, innovative cinematography, and a commitment to accuracy and compassion, the film remains a relevant and impactful exploration of mental health. Your wisecracks might have been appreciated in other wars, but in 12, they don't go over. Is this 12? After its release, the Snake Pit prompted significant changes in mental health laws across 13 states. The film's influence extended beyond the big screen with a 60-minute radio adaptation airing on Lux Radio Theater on April 10, 1950, featuring Olivia de Havilland reprising her role. The production of the mental hospital sequences was made more authentic through the on-set presence of technical consultants Dr. Sidney Luzu Tamarin and Dr. Alma Margaret Kummer. Their expertise helped ensure the film's accurate portrayal of mental health issues. Of course, did she, Doctor? No, Miss Hyde. I was only using it to establish contact with her. Yes, Doctor. The 1948 movie, The Snake Pit, made a significant cultural and social impact by shedding light on mental health institutions and treatment methods during that era. The film, based on Mary Jane Ward's novel, was one of the first Hollywood productions to delve into mental illness, depicting the harrowing experiences of a patient in a mental institution. The Snake Pit resonated with audiences as it provided a raw and realistic portrayal of mental health issues which were often stigmatized and misunderstood at the time. The film's protagonist, Virginia Cunningham, played by Olivia de Havilland, navigates the complex world of a mental institution, grappling with her own identity and sanity. This narrative struck a chord with audiences who were moved by the film's honesty and emotional depth. In addition to its emotional impact, the snake pit also influenced pop culture by sparking conversations about mental health and the treatment of mental illness. 
The film's unflinching depiction of asylum life led to increased awareness and scrutiny of mental health institutions, contributing to a broader societal shift in attitudes towards mental health. Moreover, The Snake Pit helped to humanize those suffering from mental illness, challenging stereotypes, and reducing stigma by presenting mental illness as a treatable medical condition rather than a moral failing, the film contributed to a more compassionate understanding of mental health issues. The Snake Pit's cultural and social impact is evident in its lasting legacy. The film has been recognized for its groundbreaking representation of mental health, paving the way for future productions to tackle similar themes with sensitivity and nuance. Additionally, the film's influence can be seen in the broader cultural shift towards greater awareness and acceptance of mental health issues, which continues to this day. I wonder why Miss Hart made me dress up. Maybe it's DT. DT? Beulah Bondi, known for her role in the 1948 film The Snake Pit, expressed regret for not securing the part of Ma Jode in The Grapes of Wrath. She also faced disappointment when she was replaced in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer after standing in for an ailing Mae Robson. Olivia de Havilland, who co-starred in The Snake Pit, has been portrayed in films, including My Wicked, Wicked Ways, The Legend of Errol Flynn. De Havilland was born to Walter Augustus de Havilland, a patent attorney and author of the ABC of Go, and actress Lillian Fontaine. She is the elder sister of actress Joan Fontaine. De Havilland was married to Collier Young, Brian Ahern, and William Dozier, and is the aunt of Debbie Dozier. You're in Chicago. You're going to a concert with Robin. The 1948 movie, The Snake Pit, received critical acclaim for its honest and sensitive portrayal of mental illness. Directed by Anatole Litvak and starring Olivia de Havilland, the film was groundbreaking in its depiction of a woman's struggle with mental health in a mental institution. Notable reviews came from the New York Times, which praised the film's unflinching courage and de Havilland's extraordinary performance. The critic also commended the film's director and screenwriter, Frank Pardos and Malin Brandt, for their intelligent and sympathetic adaptation of Mary Jane Ward's novel. The film also received positive audience reactions, with many praising its realistic portrayal of mental illness. The Snake Pit was a box office success, earning over four million in its initial release. The Snake Pit received six Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, Best Actress for Olivia de Havilland, and Best Screenplay. Although it did not win in any of the categories, the film's nominations were a testament to its impact and significance in the film industry. The accolades received by The Snake Pit were significant for those involved in the film. For Olivia de Havilland, the nomination for Best Actress was her fifth in that category, and she would go on to win the award the following year for her role in The Heiress. The film's director, Anatole Litvak, was also recognized for his work, and the nominations for Best Picture and Best Screenplay highlighted the film's intelligent and sympathetic portrayal of mental illness. The Snake Pit's nominations and positive reception were a step forward in the representation of mental illness in film. The film's impact resonated beyond the film industry, contributing to a greater understanding and acceptance of mental illness in society. It's nice here, isn't it? Yes, very nice. What do you say we make a picnic out? Olivia de Havilland, known for her role in The Snake Pit, expressed her admiration for Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, in 1999. She hoped to follow the Queen Mother's example and live many years longer, a goal she eventually achieved by reaching the age of 101 years and 238 days, surpassing the Queen Mother's lifespan. A private photograph of de Havilland riding a tricycle was published in 2019 to mark her 103rd birthday, although it was mistakenly believed to have been taken when she was 90. Prior to de Havilland's casting, Ingrid Bergman was offered the role in the snake pit, but turned it down. Would you like to sit down? During the filming of the snake pit in 1948, several fascinating behind-the-scenes stories unfolded. Olivia de Havilland, who played the lead role, was so committed to her character's portrayal that she visited mental institutions for research. This immersion helped her deliver a powerful and authentic performance, which would later earn her an Academy Award nomination. The film's director, Anatole Litvak, also had a unique approach to achieving realism. He hired actual mental patients as extras, believing their genuine emotions would add authenticity to the asylum scenes. 
However, this decision proved challenging at times, as some extras required constant supervision to ensure their safety and maintain control on set. Screenwriter Frank Pardos experienced a personal connection to the story when his own sister was committed to a mental institution. This real-life experience greatly influenced the script and added depth to the characters and situations depicted in the film. Additionally, the film's groundbreaking depiction of mental health treatment sparked important conversations about the stigma surrounding mental illness. The Snake Pit is now considered a pioneer in addressing these issues, paving the way for more nuanced portrayals of mental health in future films. Despite the challenges faced during production, the cast and crew of The Snake Pit persevered, creating a film that left a lasting impact on both the audience and the film industry. Enjoy the dance, Miss Service. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Doctor. How are you, Mr. Wood? Enjoy. Beulah Bondi, known for her role in the Snake Pit, changed the spelling of her last name from Bondi to Bondi to avoid spacing issues on movie marquees. Contrary to popular belief, this change was not due to her father's disapproval of her acting career. In fact, her father, A.O. Bondi, managed the Memorial Opera House at the time of her big break as Little Lord Fauntleroy. In the British release of The Snake Pit, a foreword was added to clarify that the film's portrayal of mental hospitals did not reflect the conditions in British institutions. Celeste Holm, another actress in the film, was inducted into the Theatre Hall of Fame in 1992, recognizing her significant contributions to the stage. It's worth noting that these facts provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes details of the film and the lives of the actors involved, adding depth to our understanding of The Snake Pit. It's as though you were in a dark room. The 1948 film, The Snake Pit, made a significant impact on the film industry by bringing mental health issues to the forefront. It's raw, a ND Chinese letter, Chinese letter, Chinese letter, Chinese letter, a PP penetrating portrayal of a woman's struggle with mental illness was unprecedented, and it paved the way for more realistic and sensitive depictions of such issues in future films. The film's director, Anatole Litvak, and star, Olivia de Havilland, were praised for their courage and commitment to the project. The Snake Pit's innovative use of sound and camera work to convey the protagonist's mental state was influential and inspired many filmmakers to experiment with similar techniques. The film's honest and humane depiction of mental illness also had a profound impact on audiences. It sparked public conversations about the treatment of mentally ill individuals and led to improvements in mental health care. The Snake Pit is often cited as a catalyst for the deinstitutionalization movement in the United States. The film's influence extended beyond its initial release. It inspired several subsequent works, including the 1950 novel The Man with a Shattered World by A.R. Luria, which explores the impact of brain injury on personality and identity. The Snake Pit's raw and powerful depiction of mental illness continues to resonate with audiences today and remains an important milestone in film history. Thomas Davis, the new patient from Five is here. Dr. King. Olivia de Havilland, the actress who played the lead role in the 1948 film The Snake Pit, took great lengths to accurately portray her character's mental illness. She followed a strict diet and refrained from wearing brassieres, girdles, or visiting the hairdressing department during filming. Fifteen years after presenting at the Academy Awards, she made a special appearance at the 75th Annual Academy Awards in 23, which was her final ever appearance at the Oscars. As of December 2014, she is the only surviving major cast member of the iconic film Gone with the Wind, which premiered in 1939. In 1948, The Snake Pit showcased the acting talents of Olivia de Havilland, who was one of many Oscar-winning actresses hailing from New York State. Born in the same state as Alice Brady, Teresa Wright, and Anne Revere, among others, de Havilland's performance in the film was not to be missed. Bonnie Cashin's stylish suit for Olivia de Havilland in the movie caught the attention of Photoplay magazine, which offered a pattern for 35 cents so that fans could sew their own copies. This allowed viewers to connect with the film on a deeper level as they could recreate the iconic look of the actress. Olivia de Havilland and her sister Joan were raised in a strict household by their mother, Lillian. They had to ask for permission to go out in the evenings and report back when they returned. Any young man who wished to date either of the sisters was first invited to tea to be vetted. 
This upbringing helped shape de Havilland into the accomplished actress she became. To establish contact much faster. When that happens, we'll be able to start getting at the real causes of your wife's illness. Have you seen the 1948 movie, The Snake Pit? If so, we'd love to hear about your experiences and memories related to this groundbreaking film. Did it impact you personally or change your perspective on cinema? Perhaps you were moved by the powerful performances or the sensitive portrayal of mental illness. Or maybe you appreciated the film's contribution to the ongoing conversation about mental health and society. Whatever your thoughts, we encourage you to share them with us and other cinema enthusiasts. Your insights and experiences can enrich our understanding and appreciation of this classic film. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Together, we can create a vibrant community of film lovers and learn from each other's perspectives. Let's keep the conversation going. Isn't it nice? They shouldn't laugh at us. Watch me. I'm sitting over there with my boyfriend.